All right, welcome back, viewers. It is your data with Raja. Today, in this video, we're gonna see some general introduction about data science. So, data science is a mainstream term that is being used by most of the people nowadays, and it is so much hyped. So, but the exact definition of data science is a little bit confusing and vague, right? So this video will provide you some clarity on what is the exact definition of data science. So let's jump off to the video. What is data science? So data science is one of the most powerful structure way of solving a business problem by taking insights from the data. So data science is not only coding or data science is not only doing some machine learning models or deep learning model. It is an impact or a value or a benefit that you give to your company by solving the company's problem. So how do you do that solve the company's problem is that it can be through your insights or it can be through your uh, uh, developed product. It can be a product or service that is so much that it reduces the business expense or it is taken to a next level of improved customer satisfaction. So most of the training and tutorial videos and the institutions locally miss this point of the problem solving part. Uh, this is a misconception in most of the tutorials. So they directly jump into the syllabus of taking of Python and statistics and so on. But this part is more important in an industry so nobody is going to directly jump on into ai in a company so first of all they need to focus some of the problems that are in priority so this is a, just an introduction to and the definition to data science but let us see how it evolved over the years you people already know that in, in olden days, the data was stored in papers, floppies and disks. Even in some cases, there would be a large room uh, locked and you have stacks of registers and ledgers. If you go inside, right, you will get suffocated. So that was the case before. And even in Hollywood films, right, we used to see only computers where some scientists would be typing something and they, they do some research with statistics and all but there was one man called William Cleveland. He integrated data mining with computer. So this led to the great term called data science. So it was the right time where also web, web was booming like anything. Web 2.0 came and it also paved the way for various social media platforms where they used to come and share, post, like everything they were doing. It was like huge data. So this led to the most use of usage of internet in those time period. You know very much that MySpace came in 2003 and Facebook came in 2004 and YouTube came in 2005. So this led to a larger usage of internet by a, a, a large amount of people there and it generated lots and lots of data. But at that time the technologies which we were having, it was so difficult to handle those data. So, but it led slowly led to the development of a big boom concept called big data. So it uh, it was designed and it was wrote written by uh, a famous person called Dow Cutting. So he developed this system, and now this big data is being implemented in all sort of big organizations, and this has given the way to data science. So this big data has helped many business people to get implemented with data science. You may be wondered why should business people get uh, benefited of this data science. So these business people hire some experts called data scientists. So what they do is that they get into the data, they transform the data, they derive insights and hidden patterns from a large massive unstructured data. So this led to the improvement of data science and this business magic came into existence and these business people were now able to identify their risks in the business. They were able to identify the opportunities that are in the business 
they also made better products and services and also good customer satisfaction so this led to the overall evolution of this data science and everybody is now moving towards the future and future would be in data science now let us see some examples in data science you know the youtube algorithm whenever you you play a video you would not expect the same content being popped up next to the video so though that that is a situation that uh, an algorithm works and next goes to your facebook suggestion friend suggestion so it also is an ml algorithm which is being uh, directed from various data sources like location your friends your interest everything is like that it, it, it involves customer behavior even so all these are examples of data science now let us get into a major components in data science so these data scientists will be learning data science which has some major concepts like statistics to be in common it's mathematics statistics probability differentiation partial derivatives integration matrices and eigen values and eigen vectors and all sorts uh, big concepts of mathematics as well as they used to learn python as a programming language so python is the most used language as of now in the market and data scientists everyone are uh, recommended and they are willing to go for python and the third one is the business domain so these three components namely the mathematics and computer programming and third one is the business domain this is where most of the tutorials in youtube or websites or institutions they don't take this concept this business domain plays an important role in data science so don't worry i would be taking some classes on business domain i'll be taking you through how to understand the process even if you're new to a process how to just quickly get on to the process and how do you get the understanding all that i'll teach you in the due course of the videos so these are the components of data science now let us go to the skill set of data scientists so as i told you i would tell a high level uh, data science skills so let me get you to a uh, programming language so a, a data scientist must be knowing at least one programming language like python or r or scala or julia and next they have to move uh, to at least one database knowledge that like sql mysql or nosql mongodb all such database terms and next they must be knowing uh the machine learning algorithms so which algorithm to use for which data types and then they have to know deep learning and as well as one data visualization tool so these are some of the skill set in a high level i still will make a video with complete data set uh, data science skills and uh, that would suffice for the full stack data scientist so these are the skill set of data scientists so as i told you data scientists are the key person who give the right direction or right insights or information or knowledge to the business leader that will affect the business so heavily so they must be so uh, quick to react and they must be uh, a clear person even in an ambiguous situation so they play a key role so due to this key role they are paid highly so for example in india the average salary for a data scientist is 10 lakhs per annum so in india i hope this salary would suffice to live a normal life so this is the average salary this data has been taken from glassdoor website so salary is 10 lakh per annum but the amount of contribution towards their company is very huge so this is to be kept in mind so any one uh, data miscalculation can lead to a bigger losses so this should be so into the mind of people because mathemat if you only love the mathematics you would go into data science if you don't uh, i would suggest not to go into data science field, okay and this is a small introduction of the video let us see what are all the various workflow of data science project so let us take one data science project for an example so one such project so first of all a team identifies a bigger problem in the business or a bigger opportunity in the business where they can use up this data science project so first of all a business analyst or a data analyst 
would go and gather the problem statement and the requirements from the customer and next they would decide upon which data to be measured and how to be measured and where and when the data engineers would have already loaded all the data in in their in their own data sources or data lakes but if you work in a small company you must be the only person taking care of all the activities but if it is a large company like amazon they have separate teams or discrete distinctive teams for all the functions for example you may have a data engineer inside you will have a data scientist inside you will have a data analyst inside you will even have a deployment team separately inside so it depends upon the size of the organization now this after as the flow continues so after the business requirement gathering the data collection happens the data storage happens and the data cleaning happens so this is where most of the people spend at almost 60% of the time in cleaning the data as you know computers understand only numbers so even text are being converted into numbers for so that the computer acts upon it very quickly so after that it is being transformed so there are various levels of transforming the data which you will be seeing in the later part of the video series so then happens to be the more uh, the exploratory data analysis this is a, this is one such important phase in data science project in these the business leaders will have a lo- large number of insights where they can even find some more problem problematic areas or risk areas so this is one important phase in data science project and then goes for model building and the model deployment and as well as model monitoring so these these are the high level uh, stages in a data science project however i will be releasing a video with all sorts of micro level steps and what should be done and who would be the owner all such things in the later part of the video series and this is a complete life cycle then we shall move to a topic which is most debatable and it is Uh, not known to much of people but the non non data science people said so they used to confuse with the term artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning so let me put a clear statement here so artificial intelligence is just a terminology that was coined late back in 1950s this meant that any effort that is being replaced any human effort that is being replaced by systems called as artificial intelligence but later in 1976 there was one billion man called Arthur Samuels he designed a system that defeated a state level player in a sport where the sport was designed by him using the previous data and all the permutation and combination with the previous data so this led to the term called machine learning and Arthur Samuels is considered to be the father of machine learning so this machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence so when you draw a circle artificial intelligence is a bigger circle and keep your machine learning inside it and next we'll go to deep learning so deep learning is another smaller circle within the machine learning circle where it it replaces the human brain activity so in in machine learning it it replaces an expert but in deep learning it replaces the human brain let us see some examples of that so machine learning for example you go to some area where you wanted to go and rent a place or rent a home or rent a house so you you go to a broker in that area and he is well versed on all the house types in that particular area so you go to him and ask i wanted a 3 bhk with 1500 square feet and i want three balconies and three bathrooms and everything in uh, the in the respective rooms and you wanted wooden flooring so he will tell an approximate range price that it would cost around 20000 in that area so he is an expert who has been in this field for long days but this can be replaced by a machine learning so now if you give all your inputs as a requirement it would predict the output or the predict the cost of that particular rent from the previous data so this is called as machine learning and when it comes to deep learning it replaces a human brain so you remember a, a school friend you you meet him after 10 years but you still remember him and tell her hey you are the guy right so that's that's the ability in uh, inside our human brain 
which is depicted as deep learning so image identification image recognition all these come under deep learning so now as a gist ai is a bigger circle inside which ml is a circle and inside which dl is a circle so if you draw all this it becomes to be a concentric ring so this is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning and deep learning so guys this is the introduction video and please stay tuned for more contents please like my videos and subscribe for my channel and if you want share to your friends who whomsoever is going to start their career in data science so from next week we'll go into the subject and please stay tuned bye bye people take care